Diversity of Plants Our ecosystem lives on diversity of living organisms. Scientists have estimated around 8.7 million species of plants and animals in existence. However, only around 1.2 million species have been identified and described so far, most of which are insects. Oh, you know, among all these plants, which one is the longest and the oldest? Pando, the name of a massive clonal colony of quaking aspens in Utah's Fish Lake National Forest, is the oldest living plant in the world. Researchers aren't sure how old Pando really is, but estimates say the tree colony is over 80,000 years old. The most terrifying carnivorous plants? They are portrayed in movies as terrifying plants. But in real life, the horrific way they used to kill their prey just to fulfill their nutrients. Would you like to know which ones? In fact, there are more than 600 carnivorous plant species, and the ability to catch and digest prey has evolved independently at least six times among flowering plants. Carnivorous plants are photosynthetic and do not eat insects and other prey as a source of energy. Rather, their victims are used to supplement nitrogen and other nutrients that their roots do not frequently encounter in their harsh environments. They are Cape Sun Dew. This plant has tentacle-like leaves, which are a true hell for those who land on them. Each one is covered with plant hair-like structure called trichomes that secrete a visually attractive substance to insects, but actually, that is a sticky liquid that will bring horrible death to them. Well, once the insect falls right into the Cape Sundew's trap, its extremely sensitive glands react immediately to hold the body of its victim who direly wants to escape. Then, the plant wraps the prey with its branch as if it were a boa constrictor. That's when the enzymes begin the process of digestion, eating the insect that is still alive and making it go through a slow and terrible agony. Before continuing with the list, do you know which carnivorous plant was the inspiration for this famous character in Super Mario Bros.? Stay until the end to find out. Cobra Lily Named after its resemblance to an erect cobra's body, the cobra lily plant takes advantage of its shape to lead its prey right to certain death, like this innocent fly that will never leave. Once inside, the prey mistakes its way out for those translucent windows, but it's useless. Those are fake openings on the cobra lily cell wall. Finally, if the victim is worn out from fighting so it slides down the tubular leaves, where it's trapped, where the bacteria break it down and prepare feed for cobra lily. Roar Redula uses insects like Pam Iridium to stab the prey with their stingers until it weakens and devours it. You may wonder, where does the food for this plant come from? Well, I don't know if I'll get to sleep today. Which one did you find the most terrifying? Tell us in the comments if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like it, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Until next video, see you.